Hello, my name is Grant, and it's time to play another demo today. And this time, I'm going to play a T.O.C. Temple of Coal. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to play a demo called The Legend of Zelda Tower of Courage, which is currently being developed by Flying Fish and Bolt Fox 20. This particular demo is called TLC Demo 1, and the genre is Dungeon rob uh, Robber, and this quest was added yesterday. So, whatever the day, today's date is, if, you, if you're going to say if you watched this a few weeks down the road, just look at the date this video was made and find out in your mind what you say is, or just look it up on here as you see. It had four downloads and it has yet been it has not yet been rated. The overview. Here is the here's the first demo of my quest. It is just the opening and first dungeon. So it's not really much uh much of a overview there, is it? So that means I could just jump right into the quest. So let's begin. Thousands of years, many wars have been waged in the kingdom of Hyrule between the forces of good and evil. At the center of this conflict lies the Triforce and its power, for whoever touched the golden power would have his greatest wish granted. The Dark Lord Ganon. So, is, is that a typo, or is he just going by what... Ganon's name was, I think, I think Ganon was, I think that was right in one of the earliest, or well, either that or it's just a typo, I don't know. Anyways, you know, Ganon tried to obtain this power for himself, but every attempt was thwarted by a courageous by wielding an evil shattered, sh shattering master sword, ending with Ganon's banishment. Can you get that sword in the Shattered Temple? Well, he's definitely going with the Ganon, G-A-N-N-O-N. Many years pass and Ganon regained enough power to break free and rose once again from his ethereal bounds. He had deceived the royal family and gained entry to the Sacred Realm. The Triforce within his grasp when Link the hero and Zelda, the princess, confronted him. Oh, and the something got real out of The fight for the Triforce was fierce, and their power shook the very foundation of the sacred realm. This intense battle caused the Triforce to split and scatter, launched across the world beyond the reaches of the Kingdom of Hyrule. With the Triforce lost to the world, Ganon made his escape. Without the gold of power, Hyrule Kingdom began to wither and erode into ruin. Zelda and Link set off on their quest to search the world and explore new kingdoms and recover the lost fragments of the Triforce. Go to Juno. Wake up, sir. The captain wishes to have a few words with you. <coughs> did my voice sound a little bit funny for a second here? I think it did. It did. The power chip. The ship theme seems to be getting more common in quests these days. Oh, hello! The captain is at the rear of the ship. Or this quest don't have eight directional movement? Why? And I don't like the where this is where it's right on the bottom. It seems kind of awkward to be out of the way down there. I'm not sure if I'm I, I'm digging some of these rooms. Like the rooms works. But I think the 
to the main part of ship needs work. Come in, sit down. I called you here to discuss where we should be heading next. Oh, you must be the captain. Since the last few places we stopped had no sign of the Triforce, or any clue to its whereabouts. Hmm, Juno, huh? I heard a lot about that place on my sea-going travels. One interesting story that I heard about was the main city was destroyed by a volcano a century ago, but since then they rebuilt the city in a new location. So you think that the Triforce could be there? Then we will change course to Juno. Oh, one more interesting tidbit of information. There was a tower that no man can see or reach the top of. I also heard that a tower holds a powerful demon. He was sealed by a mysterious warrior wielding a sword with myth mystical energy. Much like the Master Sword, I would not mind going to Juno and seeing it for myself. We are under attack. Parts off the port side. Brace for impact. Here, take these bombs and escape by blowing up one of those panels. Oh no. What Zelda Classic version did they say this quest was for? Hmm. Oh no! In this Zelda Classic version, I am unable to pick up these bombs. Well then. That's why Souls of Wisdom no longer works in the newest Zelda Classic versions, because... Help me! I have no weapon, sorry! Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to pause recording and see if I can transfer this over to 2.5. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm playing this quest in... 2.5. Hopefully now I am no longer stuck. Perfect. So, just as the thing there now. Hmm. What am I supposed to be using these bombs for? What am I supposed... what this is? Necessary damage I gotta take here? Do it, like... Uh. Here, take these bombs to escape by blowing up one of those panels. What am I doing? Wait. Okay. I'm gonna assume this quest does not have any scripts whatsoever, because uh, it seems like well, his entire approach is more of a classic, uh, classic approach. Hmm. 
Bad, that was a... Oh no! I was about to say, I better be able to get back down there. You have, rec you have recovered your shield. A gift given to you by your uncle to protect you from projectiles. My biggest enemy. I've always seen projectiles to be a, the biggest threat in my life. Ah. I could just tank a dice. Uh, no, this. I'm pretty sure. Ah, you recovered your sword! A gift from your uncle to help protect yourself. I have such a great uncle, he's so much better than my father. I, my father's never given me any gifts, but my uncle, oh man, I have a great uncle. Oh, I am destroying fire with my sword. Help me. Sure. I'll help you. To any of those who are watching, I'm noticing I got a few viewers there today. If you want to chat, you can chat. My book. Like right now, just because this chat unavailable, it doesn't mean it is unavailable. It's just unavailable. <laughs> no, but it, uh, feel free to chat. I can still see your chat here. I just don't have it displayed for the recording right now until there is some activity. Chat. I think I could just go walk now. Oh my god! I already won tip of Cole reference, and what's this music? If anyone's played Souls of Wisdom, uh, this music is probably like ringing in their heads. Oh, there we go. Thanks for dealing with those pirates. Please get some rest. We will be arriving at Juno soon. Let's go to the ruins to the far west. Sure, I will. Can I please leave the ship? We have arrived at Juno. Be on the quarter deck at 1500 to depart. This quest could really use. Oh, here we go. From the reports we received, the monsters have become more aggressive lately around Juno. So be careful. On another note, with all damage caused by those pirates, we are going to be here for a few weeks. Repairing the ship. Freaky Fish Productions and Nintendo. <laughs> really? I wonder if Nintendo agrees with all this. <laughs> and Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda, The Tower of Courage. Okay, hello. One second here now. Okay, here we go. Let's start. There's a lot of Zelda. This is one of those quests where nearly every song is a Zelda song, I'm gonna assume. And because there's no scripts, none of these... In, well, I'm assuming there's no scripts, but none of these non-playable characters are gonna talk to me. I was if I walk up to him. Oh. Welcome to the Whack a Lever minigame. 30 rupees a game. 
he's got uh, he's got those things to make sure that I don't spin hard. And what the hell? Did he just say 30? That that doesn't look like 30 to me. Hello, Derry. I have C oh I have C to last some of my things when I moved here. Passing through the forest of illusions. Man, moving back then was a little bit more complicated. It's like today is this nowadays. I could take a truck and uh, take the stuff and move to a new place. But back then you had, uh, well, I guess, walk through the forest of illusions. Uh, moving wasn't a simple thing in the Zelda world. Welcome to Juno's Primary Store. Please check out our goods. I barely got any money for any of your good stuff. Have you seen the ruins of old Juno to the west? A strange star had fallen there recently and tr travel has been very difficult to the ruins because of the increased monsters. But look at this guy. No, the goddamn. No, 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 that's not script. What am I thinking? I keep forgetting myself. The difference between scripts and new features. There they are. You can press A on the signs to read them. Most people will talk to you. Huh, so this does use scripts then. Well. Most people will talk to you. Okay, la 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 la. Please do not interrupt me when I'm singing. Most people... Okay, hello sir. Keep... So this is the sign uh, script I'm assuming. Keep this town litter free. I'm tired of cleaning up after you tourists. Okay, so it's not uh, Zelda, Zelda music. Which game was this that had this music? I'm pretty sure it was like one of the older Final Fantasy games, wasn't it? It's definitely a Final Fantasy game, I believe. Bad, but there's there's some things that he needs though. Like I believe that for for what he's aiming for a quest, he should have a directional movement. It actually surprised me that he don't. Oh wait now, look at this. Here we go. What? Okay. Whatever. Just walk right through the tree. That's fine. This quest seems to rely too much on classic techniques that is not quite so popular anymore. And cutting the bush in, uh, that turns into a treasure chest. That, uh, yeah. You have obtained the awe lamp. Light up rooms and set things ablaze with the power of fire. What is going on with these trees? I guess that's not not part of the demo. That's a block out. Oh! Punish me for my curiosity. So God knows what kind of secrets in there because it seems like he has highly modified 
forced secrets out of these trees. This quest was only added to the database yesterday, I believe, what I read. So, and I've never seen, like, the member, like, I've never seen a post in Pure ZC, so it just seems like you heard it's all a classic, download the program, start making quests, but it doesn't seem like he's uh, taken advantage of it. Well, he has taken advantage of some of the features of, uh, of Pure ZC. Warning! Going too far into this force may result in encountering very strong monsters or losing your way. Thanks for the warning. The overworld looks nice. Uh, it got a lot of this quest got that hero of dreams kind of feel to it. I have to admit, <laughs> so for beginner quest, comparing it to hero of dreams is already a compliment. <laughs> like I do, I'm getting the hero of dreams kind of feel to this quest. But I'm also getting this just like there's there's a bit of a like if this is the Quest author's first quest, he's doing marvelous because I, I've seen some of my first quests was scary, <laughs> and even some of my quests where I got more experiences still yeah, is, is questionable. For a first quest, if this is a first quest, this is absolutely phenomenal. Not bad at all, like for overworld design and all that. Bomb between two chests. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't remember what the you're talking about there. Is that the one where I had to bomb the the grate? Yeah. Uh, see, I don't like uh, the way that looks up there. But I bet if you go down, you'll jump down. Got that script out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I've gone past the 20 minute mark, so I'm in towards the 30 minute mark. What? I wanted to play Mask of Matters, uh demo tonight too, but I don't think I'll be getting into that tonight because I won't have the time. Because it seems like he has uh well I want to spend a bit of hour uh spend some time into his demo rather my twenty to thirty minute thing because it seems like it's a couple of dungeons and I'll only just be recre recreating the same demo if I keep my original cap, so I'm going to take advantage and probably complete this demo because Solaris is very promising in my books. Huh. Not bad. If you're hearing sounds in the background, that's my washing machine. Washing clothes. Yeah, after the, I'm going to extend uh, the length of this demo just just because, like, I won't be playing for very long tonight. Okay, after I play this, uh, I'll be done then. I don't see many people come around here anymore and check out these ruins. 
The underground ruins are very dangerous, and people stop coming here to explore the ruins. There is an interesting spot near a bit, and also beware of the graveyard till you are properly geared. What's with this? It's like, it looks like it's part of the map, but I don't understand what it is I'm supposed to be looking at. I've seen that in a couple of houses. Is that like a, a symbol of the land or something? Is that, I don't know. Was that a house coming out of the ground? Wow. Number one. Ruins of Old Juno. So I'm in a dungeon. Sweet. Now suddenly, I'm half blue, half... Look at the trippy color I am now, I'm like half blue, half green. Definitely the effect of the lair, but that's, that's trippy looking. This dungeon is... doesn't feel like a dungeon. I'm not sure if I'm really digging this dungeon or not. No, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. Yeah, th this dungeon looks a bit... Like... Looks more... <laughs> I guess it's the atmosphere he's trying to pull off, it's old Juno. But there's nothing... There's nothing about this that feels like a dungeon, it feels... Very quite open, and a, a lot of open corners. There's a lot, a lot of open corners. So, okay, maybe, maybe I'm on, like, this is a dungeon, but this is the outside part of a dungeon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm thinking this is, like, the outside. See what I mean? Is that right? Huh. Uh... Well... I lit the torches, didn't I? Okay. I guess I gotta do that for... Well... If that's per- if that's a permanent secret, it means I activated something that, uh... I don't know. I, th I probably activated something on another screen. I'm not, I'm not taking that effect of the blocks there. I... Yeah, I think so. Did, the, did those torches actually make a change? I probably never, I probably never even noticed. Outdoor bed. I'm not digging the the palette here. I'm not digging the odds. Like, oh, a lot of it has too many introverted highlights going on here. This quest is pretty much suffering the same thing uh, Souls of Wisdom suffered. Good ideas, but poor execution. I'm like, I'm seeing, I'm seeing areas of poor execution. It's a, it's a nice quest, great idea, but it's definitely like, you know, there's just things to figure out and learn. Like I've had a lot of things I had to figure out and learn. The sign is too damaged to read. Well then, can I get some mail then? Why am I cutting the grass? 
is so compulsive. Side is two damage read. Don't look all that damage. Seriously. Anyone who plays the Zelda game is addicted to cutting grass. For whatever reason, I don't even know. Got a key. I don't remember where I can use that key. Hello, like, like, bye, like, like. There's a treasure chest there. Oh, here we go. The trees are inconsistent. Are very inconsistent. Sometimes you can walk beyond them. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can walk on top of them. Like that, for example. Oh, did I fuck that up? Huh. Not great dungeon design here, no. I was more I was more impressed by what he had for overworld there than like like most most of the gameplay I've seen in this dungeon so far. Is this the graveyard that they told me to stay away from? But most of the gameplay I've seen in, in this... Oh, look at that. Yeah, most gameplay I've seen in this dungeon so far is... Cutting grass and... Finding secrets and killing enemies and... Cutting grass and finding secrets and... Getting lost. <laughs> Walking under tree stump for no reason. Well, ah, uh, I c I can't give this game a rating of anything other than the two, simply for it needs work. I'll put it that way. It needs work. I hate, I hate to be a downer, but yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit on the funny side. Oh, I'm gonna assume because that rock is in there, and it's because it's surrounded by stuff. There's a secret here. Well, I'm going way past. I'm gonna actually end this here right now because I'm going way past. Way past my 20 minute mark, I've gone past 30 minute mark, and now I'm up to 35. And I'm pretty much. I'll see if I go a little bit further. But uh, I'm not going much further than 40. I'm not, I'm not cutting to grass looking for secrets, I'll tell you that right now. See, the, these rooms here are designed more for looks. Is designed for gameplay. It's they're just rooms, right? But nothing about this feels like a feels like I'm in a dungeon. What's with this useless stuff? <laughs> like what is? Oh, and that's a bat. Oh my god, that's not even a key. Those are bats. Is that, a, is that a torch there? Looks like it. Uh, I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore with this game.
I guess it's just a se uh, another secret on the grass that I haven't found. This get this quest seemed very promising until I reached this so-called dungeon. <laughs> the so-called level one. That's and that that's when it just started to go downhill. Unfor unfortunately, I I lost I lost a lot of my life for this quest. Yeah, I know it's. It doesn't feel like a dungeon. It's awkward, and there's there's no not not nothing of gameplay value here, except finding secrets under bushes. It's, uh, it's, it's worse than what I pulled off in Souls of Wisdom One for Lost Oil before you can enter. Oh, no. it's, just, it's just I guess secrets of Fire Rocks. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing, it's just... This... Uh, oh, and more bombs. Yeah, okay, I'm almost reporting with Mark. That is... That is it. Okay, uh... Thank you for... It's, it's, it's sad, it's too bad though, because this... This quest, uh, I like how... Okay, yes, I could look through... I could look through those rooms that I haven't been to and see if I could find look perfect. It's just there's nothing appealing about this dungeon to make me want to continue. Yeah, this this there's nothing appealing about this dungeon to make me want to continue. I'm, I'm sorry to the like you, you don't you you don't want to wreck what could be a fantastic quest because n n nice overworld. We don't want to wreck that with a dungeon that's barely a dungeon. It's uh, perhaps, perhaps uh, the quest author should do what I'm doing because I, I I was never good at making dungeons. That was one of my one things that I have had struggles with. But I've been playing a lot of good quests with good dungeons and has since improved my skills with dungeon design. And this quest is a pure example of how you can make a very bad dungeon. And unfortunately it has, it has lowered my respect for what could possibly be this quest. But, it's pr still promising. And I'll still follow this quest and see what it shapes up to be in the future. So anyways, if you're the quest out there and you've seen this, keep, keep it up and... Hopefully you've taken my words, and hopefully we'll see what you can come up with in the future. Okay, thank you for watching, and have a good day.